This is an RLC circuit, which means there's an inductor, a resistor, and a capacitor. Um, so we're going to have oops, our power source, which is 15 volts and 200 hertz. We have two resistors, a capacitor, and an inductor. Um, each of the resistors is 8 ohms. The capacitor is 47 microfarads. And the inductor is 2 millihenries. And what we want to do is find, the, find all of the things. So we want to find the um, XC, XL, I, and the voltage drops. Uh, we also want to find theta and z. Okay, so we're going to start by finding the reactances. So our xc is equal to 1 over 2 pi fc. So xc is equal to 2 pi f is 200. And our C is 47 e to the negative 6 farads. Right, so our XC is equal to 2.5 ohms. And our direction is, um, let's see, I think I wrote that wrong. I got that number wrong. So this is going to be XC is... Sixteen point nine ohms and negative ninety degrees. Our XL is equal to two pi FL. So XL equal to two pi times two hundred hertz times two e to the minus three Henry's. So XL is equal to 2.5 and the um, ohms, so ohms, and this is in the positive 90 degree direction. So when we think about our, our phasor triangle, we're going to have XL and XC. And if I look here, my XL, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. So my XL is in the positive 90 degree direction but it's not very big, and my XC is really much bigger. This is my R, and so this is my XC. And so when I put them together, right, I'm really just going to, when I add XL minus XC, I'm going to have, this is my XL minus XC. It's negative. This is my R. So this is going to be my Z. So XL minus XC is negative in the is minus 90. Um, I know my REQ is just R1 plus R2. And since they're the same, they're both 8, that's going to be 16 ohms. So now I can find Z. So my Z is equal to REQ squared plus XL minus XC, the magnitude squared. This is a C. And this is an L, so square root. So I'm going to get Z is equal to 16 squared plus 16.9 um, minus 2.5. So XL minus XC is equal to 14.4 ohms and in the negative 90 degree direction. So I'm just taking the magnitude 14.4 squared square root so z is equal to uh, 21.5 and now to figure out the the angle so this is my angle right here theta tan theta is equal to x l minus x c over r so theta when i plug that in Tan inverse, 
of xl minus xc, so that's going to be 14.4 over 16. Theta is going to equal negative 42 degrees. And it's negative because it's below the x-axis. So my z then is equal to 21.5 ohms and negative 42 degrees. Okay, so I'm going to make my table. So this is going to be my voltage in volts, my current, and I know the results. So I'm going to, um, usually I say milliamps, but I'm going to say it's in amps this time. And this is going to be my Z in ohms. And this is going to be my R. So R, where R1 is equal to R2. So because it's a series circuit, I know I'm going to have a voltage drop across each one of these. So, um, but I'm just going to use one column for that. But I know that this is what this is the drop across each one. So I'm going to have eight ohms and zero degrees um, for my x. This is C. I'm going to have 16.9 and negative 90 degrees. For XL, I'm going to have 2.5 and positive 90 degrees. I need to calculate my current. So my I is equal to uh, my voltage over, over Z. So this is going to be 15 volts. Um, zero degrees over Z is 21.5 and negative 42 degrees. So my I is going to equal 0 0.7 amps and 42 degrees. So that's going to be my current for all of these, 0 0.7, because it's a um, series circuit. And this is total. Uh, so this is 21.5 and negative 42, 0 0.7 and 42 degrees. Okay, so now to calculate um, each of these, I'm going to multiply. So I'm going to say um, the voltage. Oops. This did not come on switch eraser. There we go. E sub R is going to be I times R. So that's just 8 times 0.7. And 8 times 0.7 is 5.6, and I'm going to have 0 degrees. So 5.6 volts and 0 degrees. Um, e of the capacitor is going to be I times XC. So that's going to be 0 0.7 times 16.9. Um, and so that's going to be 12. And I'm um, multiplying or adding these. Um, <clears throat> I'm adding these angles together here. So I'm going to have negative 58 degrees for E L. I'm going to have I times X L. And that's going to be. 1.8, so just multiply 0 0.7 times 2.5, and now I'm adding the angle, so I'm going to have 132 degrees, and then finally here I'm back to 15 and 0 degrees, and I can see here that these add, so that makes sense, and if I multiply these two together, 0.7 and 21.5, I'll get 15.